We took over the, uh, the Guild Hall uh, as a cultural trust two and a half years ago. And one of the main ambitions was to redevelop the Guild Hall. So today's event is about bringing in designers, architects, creative people to conceptualise some of the opportunities that we think can be created here. So we're looking at all sorts of opportunities in the auditorium, front of house areas, box office. I think it's an important one for us to have a, a, a developing relationship with the university. I think the opportunity to work with people who have to become professionals is, is actually very important for, for us as a, as a cultural organisation, especially to encourage creativity. It's also important for us to start to develop ideas so that when we can put documents to potential architects, designers, structural engineers, we have something to put together. So today is actually about starting to put pen to paper and growing some ideas into a more, uh, I suppose, a more realistic uh, set of uh, diagrams and drawings. Um, we're doing a charrette, so it's a quick, intensive design process in relation to looking at a brief and a, and a site. Um, so we're looking at the guild hall and material spaces um, and trying to kind of recreate it as a, a sort of console hall in the, in the district. I've been to a couple of design um, events with project artists already. We had one in East Mian and we had one in Marseille. It's actually quite fun and I think like it's very intense as well so you, ca you don't really imagine how much work you can produce in such a short time or short, short period of time and um, I think students work better when they're under the pressure so <laughs> it is like, and it's nice to actually interact with the clients as well because you don't really have a lot of um, client based projects in university. It gets you thinking and it's a different way of working um, which is always, it's always useful. I think it's quite good for university as well because they can um, actually promote um, our students and maybe it's going to be easier for us to find a job afterwards and um, I think it's sort of like as well making new relationships between like maybe community of Horseman and interacting with them uh, with the help of the students. As a trustee of the Cultural Trust I'm very interested in the future of the building uh, how to make it a success for the people of Portsmouth in the coming years. Uh, personally, it's an opportunity to use my skills and background to help develop the building for the future. Today offers an opportunity to provide architecture students real experience of working with a client on a live project. I think it's been very productive. It's, it's very interesting to see lots of creative minds working um, in the building on, on future opportunities for us. It's, it's definitely intense and it's definitely kind of um, there's pressure on it but at the same time it's, it's, a, it's a good intensity because it's kind of getting people drawing quickly um, and um, yeah it's, it's good to it's good to meet kind of clients and have live projects and that's the kind of one of the main things in fact is it's live projects and working with clients something you haven't really done before in education certainly. Young people are, are naturally creative and having young people actually work in a very creative environment for and with us is it, it, very much the essence of what we should be encouraging so yeah, I, I think we want to do a lot more this kind of thing.